real of a similar triangles. Once again, we will recall what is AAA criterion. Okay, if three angles of a triangle is equal to the corresponding three angles of another triangle, then the sides opposite to the equal angles are in proportion. Are in proportion means maintaining the same ratio. Okay, so that is what we can call it as AAA criterion. Then the two triangles will can, can be called as similar triangles. Okay, that means the two triangles follow AAA criterion. Then the two triangles can be called as similar triangles. Okay, now our topic is about SSS criterion of a similar triangles. S represents side. Side, side, side. Okay. Okay. What do you, what do you mean by SSS criterion of a similar triangles? If three sides of one triangle and the corresponding three sides of another triangle are in proportion. Are in proportion means maintaining the same ratio. Okay. Then the angles opposite to the corresponding sides. That means all the proportionate sides. Are equal. Okay. I will make it clear. Just quite opposite to the AA criterion. Suppose you take a triangle. This is what you call it as a triangle A, B, C. You take another triangle. Call it as P, Q, R. Suppose it is given that A, B by PQ AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR BC by QR is equal to AC by PR okay AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR, AB by PQ, gives a ratio, that ratio is equal to BC by QR, okay, that is equal to AC by PR, that means the ratios are equal, okay, so we call it as proportionate sides, that means the sides are in proportion, then the angles opposite to the these sides, that means the sides which are in proportion are equal. For example, you take AB. What is an angle opposite to AB? This is AB. Angle opposite to AB is angle C. Now take PQ. This is PQ. Angle opposite to PQ is angle R. That means angle C is equal to angle R. Okay, next. Come to BC. 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 Opposite BC is angle A. Angle A is equal to QR. QR opposite angle B. That means angle A is equal to angle B. Next, AC. Where is AC? This is AC. Opposite angle of AC is angle B. Angle B is equal to PR. This is PR. Opposite of angle PR is angle Q. So, angle B is equal to angle Q. So, angle A, is e angle A is equal to angle B. Angle A is equal to angle B. Angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle C is equal to angle R. Then, these two triangles are said to be similar triangles. So, finally, what you write? Triangle ABC is similar to so, this is the symbol for similarity. Okay. Now, how do you write? Angle A is equal to angle B. So, in place of A, I have to write P here. Write P here. Uh, angle B is equal to angle Q. So, in place of B, I should write Q. So, here, Q. Now, angle C is equal to angle R. So, in place of C, I have to write R. So, this is the correct way of writing. Suppose if you write triangle ABC is similar to triangle QRP, something like that. So, this, is, this would be wrong. 
Why? Angle A is equal to angle B, but here in place of A, Q is there. Okay, you can, can, uh, you can see like this. AB. AB by PQ. In place of AB, PQ is there. Now see the next one. BC. BC by QR. BC by QR. So in place of BC, it is replaced with the QR. Now AC. This is AC. AC in place of AC. PR is there. AC by PR. So this is the right way of writing. This is the wrong way of writing. Okay. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Okay. We will take one more example for more clarity. Suppose you take another two triangles. You take the same ABC. A, B, C. And I am taking some other triangle. Already uh, you call the triangle as L, M, N. Suppose if I say A, B by L, N. 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 Is equal to A, C by L, N. AC by L is equal to BC. BC is the left over side. Here the left over side is M. M. So once again, AB by L is equal to AC by L is equal to BC by M. Then which which corresponding angles are equal? That we need to trace out. Okay. Oh, very simple. Take AB. This is AB. Opposite angle of AB is angle C. Angle C is equal to which angle? LN. Where is LN? This is LN. What is an angle opposite to LN? Angle M. So angle C is equal to angle M. Okay. Angle C is equal to angle M. Uh, now come to the next step. AC. Take AC. So this is what we call you say AC. What is the angle opposite to AC angle B? So angle B, which is opposite to AC, is equal to which angle? LM. Where is LM? This is LM. What is an angle opposite to LM? Angle N. So angle B is equal to angle N. Angle C is equal to angle N. Angle B is equal to angle M. Okay, next. Come to BC. BC. Where is BC? Here I can see BC. Angle opposite to BC is angle A. Angle A is equal to MN. This is MN. Angle opposite to MN is angle E. Angle E. Okay. Angle E. Okay. Uh, now how do you write? Triangle ABC is similar to triangle. Okay, what is the way of mentioning the second triangle? Okay, angle A is equal to L. So in place of A, I should write L here. Over right. next, angle B is equal to angle M. So in place of B, I should write N here. Next, angle C is equal to angle M. So, in place of C, I should write M here. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle NMM. Now, compare AB by L. AB by L. Coincide. Next, AC by AC by L. Yes. In place of AC, here L coincident. Okay, next. BC, BC by MN. So, in place of BC, here MN or NM. MN or NM, both are equal. So, in place of BC, NM is here. So, finally, triangle ABC 
is straight similar to triangle L, M, L and M. So this is the correct way of writing. So hope you understood this. SSS criterion of two simple triangles. Okay, once again, what is SSS criterion? If three sides of one triangle and the three sides of the another triangle are in proportion, then the angles opposite to the corresponding of sides are equal. Okay, so hope you understood this SSS criterion. Okay, in the next topic, in the next section, in the next video, we will discuss about SAS criterion of a two single triangles. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.